Forecast with Coin 6 Chief Meteorologist Bruce Sussman. Well, thanks for checking in uh, at the forecast tonight on this Monday. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Here's what's going on as we look ahead to tonight's forecast and then tomorrow night's, uh, tomorrow's forecast first. It's a little breezy out there in some parts of town right now, and you know how this works. It lasts a few hours here, and then the winds kind of settle down. 77 at 9 o'clock tonight under clear skies, and it will still be in the low 70s in Portland anyway at 11, although outlying areas probably in the 60s at that point. And 60s is where we start tomorrow, 66 at 8 a.m., probably some high clouds passing. Passing through at times tomorrow, 81 at lunchtime and 91 at 5 o'clock. And at that point, we may be seeing some towering clouds develop as we go through the day over the Cascades, and some of those may come for the I 5 corridor before the day is done. More on that in a second. But here's what's going on right now. Boy, lots of boats out there on the Columbia. Beautiful. The cool spot around is right. On Salty's back deck, there where we have our live weather camera and uh, weather network, 81 degrees is the temperature. It is warmer right along the Willamette, even though we've got a nice breeze. It's 86 in Portland. And by the way, this is our 19th dry day in a row. So if you're just visiting rainy Portland, well, you picked the right time to do it because this is day 19 for us. High temperatures today 87 in the Rose City, 89 in Salem, 100 in Medford, and a lot of 90s east of the mountains. Most of these numbers are actually headed up again tomorrow. There's one exception where you're going to stay cool tomorrow, and that's the central and southern coast. That's where you're going to find the onshore air conditioning, the ocean breeze. For the rest of us, it's hot weather up and down the I-5 corridor, and a little bit of an offshore flow taking the heat to Tillamook and Astoria and Seaside tomorrow as well. So if you're thinking of going to the beach tomorrow and you want it warm and sunny, you better go north. If you like the morning clouds and then a cool afternoon, head for the central coast. You can pick it tomorrow. One other thing, tomorrow the thunderstorm threat moves north and west of us. So I'm not sure if it'll come all the way to Portland, but it might. And let's watch this play out in our rain and cloud forecast. Five o'clock tonight, nice and clear, right? Beautiful, clear skies. Higher clouds that are leftovers of overnight thunderstorms to our south kind of blow through our skies at times tomorrow, creating a little filtered sunshine effect. But this is really warm air coming in. Lunchtime tomorrow, again, some high clouds around from the Cascades and west. Then in the afternoon and evening hours, it's six o'clock tomorrow night. We see storms firing up over the Cascades, probably thunderstorms, and there's a chance some of those could roll down into the I-5 corridor. Now, our rain and cloud forecast right now has it going right over Portland, some of those storms, late tomorrow night. I'm not saying that's exactly right because this is tricky stuff to forecast the exact location, but the chances for thunderstorms are real as we finish off the day tomorrow west of the Cascades. So we'll be watching for that. Sunnier and warmer along the coast tomorrow. We'll see 90s up and down the I-5 corridor, 91 in Portland. We start in the 60s tomorrow morning, but low 90s will do it just about everywhere, including those of you in Beaverton at 91, and I have Vancouver at 91 for a high tomorrow as well. 91 in Portland, and we'll see some disturbances, uh, you know, triggering thunderstorms over the Cascades. Some of those may drift our way tomorrow night, so maybe a light show. Uh, 84 on Wednesday, and then Thursday, we're back to the heat and dry weather as we go through the seven day forecast. Now, the only concern I have about these thunderstorms more than anything is thunderstorms usually make or break our fire season in the Cascades yeah. mm. and east of the mountains. So, tomorrow could be significant because right now it doesn't look like a lot of moisture with these, and that's the worst kind, of course. So, we'll yeah. be keeping an eye on that tomorrow night in the Weather Center.